So welcome to my second special right triangle video. In this one we're going to go over a 45-45-90 triangle. And just like a 30-60-90 triangle, uh, the reason why this 45-45-90 triangle is special is because the length of the longer side is proportional to the length of the shorter sides. Um, so let's take a look at this example that I wrote for you on the left. Uh, let's say that the length of the shorter sides are equal to x. Uh, notice how both sides are equal to x uh, because this is an isosceles triangle. Um, each side that's opposite the 45 degree angle is going to be the same exact length. So we'll say that those sides have a length of x. So if the shorter sides have a length of x, in a 45, 45, 90 triangle, we know that the length of the longer side, or the hypotenuse, or you could say the length of the side opposite the 90 degree angle, is going to have a length of x multiplied by the square root of 2. Um, so this is true for all 45, 45, 90 triangles. So we can use this information to, to solve these triangles quite easily. So let's get started right away with an example. All right, so in this example, let's say that this angle is 45 degrees, and this angle is 45 degrees, and obviously our last angle is 90 degrees. And this will be an easier example because I'm going to give you the length of one of the shorter sides. Um, so let's say that the length of one of the shorter sides is equal to 2. Uh, once again, the sides that are opposite the 45 degree angle are always going to be length of the shorter sides. So once again, this is an isosceles triangle. So if one length of the shorter side is 2, then we know the length of the other short side is also going to be 2. So the length of the side opposite of the other 45 degree angle is also going to be 2 units. So like I said before, the hypotenuse is always the side that is opposite of the 90 degree angle. And we know that the length of the shorter sides are equal to 2. And like I said before, our shorter sides are always going to be equal to x. So we know that our x is equal to 2. And we know that the length of the hypotenuse, or the longer side, is equal to that value of x multiplied by the square root of 2. So we, we need to multiply our value of x by the square root of 2. So I'm going to multiply x by the square root of 2. Whatever you do to the left side, you have to do to the right side. So x times the square root of 2 is equal to 2 times the square root of 2. So we know that that is our length of our longer side, or our hypotenuse. So now we have solved all three sides of this triangle. Like I said before, this is an easier example, so let's go over a little bit more difficult one. All right, so this example is going to be a little bit harder because I'm going to give you the length of the longer side instead of the length of the shorter side. So let's say that the length of the hypotenuse is equal to 2. All right, and like I said before, our hypotenuse is equal to x multiplied by the square root of 2. So x multiplied by the square root of 2 is equal to our hypotenuse, which we know has a length of 2. So it is equal to a length of 2 units. So we don't know our value of x yet, but we do know our value of x multiplied by the square root of 2. Um, so let's try and solve this equation and get x uh, by itself. So I'm going to get rid of the square root of 2, so I'm going to divide both sides by the square root of 2. And on the left-hand side, the square root of 2 cancels out, and the only thing that we're left with is x. And on the right-hand side, we have 2 divided by the square root of 2. We can't leave our final answer with a radical in the denominator, so we need to rationalize. We can, uh, I'm going to multiply both the bottom and the top by the square root of 2. And I'm going to continue at the bottom since I don't really have that much more space. In the top we have 2 times the square root of 2 which can't be simplified. So I'll just rewrite that as 2 times the square root of 2. And in the bottom we have the square root of 2 multiplied by the square root of 2 uh, which is just 2. This can be simplified even further. Notice how our 2's cancel out. And we have x is equal to the square root of 2. 
So now we know our value of x, which is the square root of 2, and once again, our x is equal to the length of the shorter sides. So we know the length of the shorter sides is equal to the square root of 2. So now we have completely solved all three sides of this triangle. I hope this gave you a better idea of how to solve a 45-45-90 triangle. I also have a video on a 30-60-90 triangle, so you can check that out. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you in my next one.